Um, I'm sure they're going to want to do something like that again this mm -hmm. year. Um, one place for a point of discussion is that um, we, we identified in terms of when to open the town meeting warrant. And um, we have, we, we kind of picked the period of January 9th to January 30th. So I just wanted to make sure, because it's the yeah, Board of Selectmen will vote on that, I just wanted to make sure the Board of Selectmen were in agreement with that. Um, and then after January 30th is, um, that's when that's when we, you know, really start to finalize the, the warrant stuff with, you know, after we have any petitions that might come in or departments that might submit, you know, other things. So um, we're looking at, what did we think of that? Was it like almost, like almost three weeks? Three weeks, period. yeah. Yeah, it's thinking that was a fair yeah. period. And then what we also wanted to add is um, is putting together like a how to, I know that some things have already been written, but just to kind of update how to do a, a citizen petition, should that come up. Um, just because last year, you know, they, they just, they you know, you got to have like some basics in there. There's, there's items that you can't do a citizen's petition on. There's like a list of six or seven items that statutorily you can't change. Um, you know, having to do with collections, having to do with laws, you know, state laws and, and stuff that people can't just say, hey, I want to change this, here's my citizen petition. Um, but just to give some guidelines, we just want to have that as something that we post on the website so that people have that information. We want to ask for people. Yeah. But there's a Secretary of State's guide, Citizen's Guide. Yes. There is. there is. Yeah. We we'll link to it. Yeah. We basically want to highlight that. We want to highlight that. So link like to it, though. Field. So yes. we don't have to keep up on it. Website. Link. Well, what, what we. You what, to be, I'm a little concerned with this director because yeah. it's not under our authority. We it's a new. It, it's a sec. It, I'm just concerned about it. Yeah, if no, we no, inadvertently no. vary from the Secretary of State's viewpoint or. Well, let's. I mean, I think Dick's on the right track, but put the link to the Secretary of State's guide. That's okay. not his Well, job. we also have the forms. So okay. I think yeah. we did that for. So what we're thinking. Mm -hmm. So you triggered. The thought that this year we have a great tool in that, and we were talking about this with the finance team, we all have access to the website. So already we feel like we're going to be empowered to put more information where it needs to be. So there's a link on there for town meeting. We can put a copy of how to file. There's a town meeting guide. Yep, there's a town meeting guide. There's a state guide. We have our own form. Mm -hmm. If we can use the website as our tool to help better convey the steps of the process so that we're not getting a citizen petition thrown at us with wording that means that we have to create three more pages of information to, to print on the back of the board. I think warrant. there's an administrative level that's there fine. There is, yeah. I don't think we should be interpreting substantive direction. Well, yeah, no, no I, I agree with you. So what we'll do is, um, is before we put some of that on there, our point really is that we're trying to streamline it and get people to understand the that's process. A, that's and then also give them a deadline and say, if you're going to submit a citizen petition, the warrant opens and closes on these dates. Anything after that is at the Board of Selectmen's, um, it's a courtesy, and it has to be sponsored and allowed by the board, and it has to go before the board. Um, same with departments. So what I usually do during the opening of the warrant process is use that as my time to tell all the departments, listen, I don't care who appoints you, but if you have something that needs to go on the warrant, you at least need to give me a placeholder. What is it? What do you need? Does it involve money? Because if it involves money, I need to call Catherine and the FinCom. We give that three-week that three week period to the departments to say, last call, you at least have to identify what you want because we need that information so that we can continue to build that preliminary list of articles. We can update the list, and then we can fill in the blanks on the draft warrant. So that's another piece of the coordination that's happening, and this will help us to do that. So again, three different lanes, if you will, but they all come down to May 1st, annual town meeting, what needs to happen, and how do we need to do it this year so that we have enough buffer to deal with any uncontrollables or unknowns that won't hit us until later on in the process. Mm -hmm. So, that so can I just look at this, we talked about this already, the uh, open and close. The, the open and close is less than two weeks. The uh, 9th to the 30th? To the 21 days. 30th? I had the 27th. Well, that's, oh. the, that, that's on the wrong line. It's, it's on the true, wrong line. Yeah, that line, you're right. Yeah. It's on the wrong line. Oh, it's, 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 it's on, it's on, on the spreadsheet. It's January 30th. Yeah, it's yeah. on the spreadsheet. It's centered the line. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's it's centered. Centered. Uh, but we have a yeah. But we have a meeting on, on the 5th. So that's when we would vote to close it. I, I, what, 
I would make it the fifth. That's just five days more, so. So when yeah. when you um, you're well the, he, well there's yeah. an so there's a logistical issue of why that one makes sense. Well, it might make sense if you don't want to read it at the night of the meeting. So if when we close the warrant, it means that if we close it that Monday, yeah, you're meeting at seven thirty. Mm -hmm. People have to four o'clock. They deliver a citizen petition. I can make copies <coughs> and bring it to the to the meeting for you. But I won't have enough time to make copies and to make make a new thing on the draft warrant and make copies and bring it to you at the meeting. So. I need Kelly, a buffer look, of time. I'm, I'm willing to work with you on it, but all things considered, if, if we've got 45 articles and somebody comes running in the last minute with one, we ought to be able to deal with it. It's, I mean, it's almost be an embarrassment okay. to it's the water board or the park and cemetery, but, or whatever, but well, this well, is we should be able to deal with it. This is where I'm going to need the board support. I'm explaining to you that there's a practical and logistical issue with that suggestion, which I appreciate and respect, but I'm if letting you know that when I have 50 different Warren articles to balance and someone comes in two hours before the Board of Selectmen meeting and then the board is upset with me because I'm putting something in front of them at the last minute, I don't think that that's good planning. So what we were suggesting is that we move it so that I have a couple of days to make sure all my ducks are in a row. That's a policy decision Can with I, the board. I don't give the fact you'll have all but maybe a last one coming in. Could you maybe move that to Thursday, which gives you some time, keeps us on schedule. It does mean you'd have to add that one in, but you I would say Thursday at noontime perhaps would be a good cutoff. And I'm trying to think of a way that Thursday. keeps our schedule intact, allows you to provide the stuff in time for us to look at, but gives just a little bit more time that week as a compromise. I, I, I don't... There's no vote on the. I, I'm just making suggestions. I'm yeah, no, I know, but I'm just making a suggestion us. back. That's and all. I that's appreciate a, that, but it's, we're right there, we, if we have to negotiate to everything thing. on this list, we're not going to get a good process and a good product. So you don't want to do that, you're saying? I'm making a recommendation, and I'll, I'll take that under consideration as we put together the final thing. What I'm hearing from you is three weeks isn't enough. And I'm explaining that four weeks is it it's doesn't not a big deal. Kelly, time. it's not a big deal. If you want to well, see it, to, to it me, clearly is if you're bringing it up during an open meeting that's being reported. I'm bringing it up because I think it would be better. But you, okay. You're saying the three is better. What I'm saying is the difference between three and four is not a big deal. If we can't make it happen or we can make it partially, that's good. It, it's, this is not rocket science. Whether it's 21 days or 28 days, we're, do, we're doing fine. Could I go back to something that uh, was talked about since we're into the warrant? We're really in the schedule, but we're, we're also at the warrant. And as you, you know, bring out that you're going to start with a closing of the warrant and then certain things happen. So John had mentioned the, the issue of trying to maintain versions and that. Um, and there's various factors to that. One of them, I think, and it'll play in other areas too, is that what's on the document itself is a version, and the naming of the files that are associated with it should also have a relationship. Uh, my feeling would be that, for example, the, because today's day and age, everything is file. It's, it's not really paper. Uh, the, the paper is just an extract from the file. So that uh, order of magnitude, if, if this is the second version of the ward, somewhere in there, there's something like a V2 in the name of the file that is the warrant. So if you distribute the electronic, we have it that way. And inside it, it says version two. Just order of magnitude, a relationship between being use the file names as part of the versioning and include in the printed part, in the actual document, something that matches that. So it's very easy to say, oh, the one with that date, oh, that's that file. I, I know which one I'm dealing with. Yeah, and it's easy and that's to what I envisioned when you Thanks. first brought it up, too. Yeah. So it's probably like up in the right hand corner, a corner we'll have like the version two yeah. and then in the title. Just it'll work something out. That's same thing, V1, V2, V3. Mm -hmm. Something like that, yeah. yeah, and it'll be in a foot, yeah. Yeah. So just, I'm only asking, not, I'm not saying how to, but to, to, to kind of make all that come together yeah. as part of the version, as a follow up to what John was saying. Yeah. But since we're into that, in a similar way, the operating budgets, as they come, as they go out and come back from the various departments, if they make changes or something like that, I should hope we'd have the same sort of thing. Yeah. And they're very clear naming conventions, 
you know, all of the first things start out, I don't know, physical year so-and-so, and then the name of the department, and then the version, or something like that. But then when you line them all up, it's very easy to see, oh, that, oh there's one more for that department. If you, you keep calling it a different name of the department, and you sort it by name or something, then it's over here, but you can't see how it is. It, it, just using good naming conventions and... Yeah. And, and versioning within that naming convention, I think, will help. And, and we again, actually limit the number of um, versions of the, of the operating budget that we that we send out. They'll probably be two to three max. Yeah. So um, in terms of after they meet with the, the departments, it's only after they do votes that, that they get changed, and then the final one is put out. Right. So that you know, we, we limit the number of versions anyway. Even though this, okay. they may be talking about changes, nothing's done right. until the final night. But, but since we're on that, could, could I just understand, uh, we talked about some of the auxiliary things that go on with the operating budget. Uh, for example, uh, unfunded, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, what they're the, calling them is a essential so, so funded. Where is, that, where is that, how is that being managed? Where, is that part of the same file, so or is it a separate it file, is, and who is managing it? And I will be managing it. It will be similar to last year. I think that that worked out last year, having that sheet where people could just go down and look at it. And then we kept adding to it this way in terms of you know what the, what the selectmen felt, what the FinCom felt, and what was final. Um, uh, that's a spreadsheet, in other words. I see columns. You yeah. saying spreadsheet? Yeah, okay. it is done on a spreadsheet. I did not bring a copy of last year's with me. But, but that's but, okay. Now, is that spreadsheet part of the budget? Um, it does become part of the budget. So yes. it's all in one file. It what, is all in one file. When you send it out to the department, it's a, it, it has the skeleton budget that they're going to fill in for this year, and then there's another sheet that has this kind of a file in it. No, no. Um, so when, when the when the departments got the budgets, they got just the template for their department. Yep. So that's actually a, a document that when they send these back, the, the B1, B2, and B3, the forms. Yeah. So there's, there's salary and wages information. There's um, changes to the, the regular expense operating. And then there's things that are above and beyond, the things that they want to change services or something like that, even, the, even though they said no changes of services. Mm -hmm. If this, you know, you can't say. But, but, no, but there's, the, the yeah. point is, is that there's these other documents that relate to the department. These, these is there any documents. reason why they would not be part of, so to speak, a, a one, instead of having more files to deal with, they're dealing with them essentially at the same time. Why would we not have those as sheets within the operating budget? within the operating budget file. Well, it's one less thing to have to manage on your part. It is It is in part of the operating budget file for me. And I, I'm not really sure what you're asking. Um, okay, then let's go on to other things. I don't want to just give okay. you the Yeah, I understand. But the question is how do we manage? I understand. The issue is how do we manage so that we don't get into the trouble? So last year, the last year I get, we provided... Excuse me, we're at the FinCom meeting, we'll say. Because the reason that this re thing really started was because we went to a FinCom meeting where they were describing last year's zoo. Well, I was looking at this one. They were looking at that one. But I can just see the same fin FinCom meeting. So we're all looking at the Pocket Cemetery budget. And somebody's also looking at, well, here's their required things. Well, I don't see that. Well, which version of that do you have? Uh, uh, if they're all part of the same one, then did you get that budget? All those things are in there? It's not that you... You can't manage it if they're separate, but if you can package them, it's just an easy way to manage it. Well, so last that was just year, we, did, we didn't update the budgets last year either, but what happened and what we what we had asked department heads this year not to do is that um, it happened at the first Board of, board of Selectmen's meeting as well um, with the police department. Is they, they gave me a budget they turned in two days earlier. The day that they met with you, they went around the table and handed out a new budget. We told them no doing that. Then they went to the FinCom and they handed out another budget. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're saying no, all budgets you need get. to only go through here. And, and the, 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 the FinCom has supported that. They um, yes. and, and it's also when it was included in, in, in my little cover letter okay. as well, saying any changes, make sure you talk to your liaison, but it has to go through this office. So that's where that stuff comes in. That was that got beyond our control because of you know people, you know, came in and handing out these budgets after. But the, the list in terms of the unfunded, um, essential unfunded, it, it worked out pretty well last year that everyone was on the same page in terms of what they were looking at in ter that was places where decisions needed to be made regarding the budgets. This year it's going to be a little bit more complicated because places where you think you have decisions, you don't really have decisions. And a good example of that is the trash um, contract. That's a 10-year contract that was signed five years ago. Now it's a $25,000 increase. 
that $25,000 increase is going to show up on this form. But there really is a decision about whether to, whether to honor it or not. You've got to sign a contract. Mm -hmm. So there's going, to be, there's going to be items like that, and somehow we want to make the, that visual to you that, you know, this is, this is, even though it's an increase, it's not really a decision, but that's based on, you know, what the FinCom's instructing us to do. We would take that under advisement to see what someplace else, unfortunately, we can perhaps do a cut exactly. to make up for. The, exactly. Uh, so yeah. those are very important, and that's excellent. Yeah, yeah. Um, are there dates that you, as the board, want to um, plan on convening maybe in work budget work sessions? Yes. Um, I'm wondering if we should have one on January 31st. The reason being, and this might be a thing you could make noontime that day in the close of petitions, we get an update on what seems to be the final thing of petitions yeah. um, and would get us prepared um, I can't imagine we're not going to want to have, we won't have things to talk about. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. By the way, when I see all these BOS working sessions, they're all basically 4 o'clock, is that the, we're um, all agreeing we, that we were just going to propose 4 o'clock, but uh, that's based on your schedule, so. Yeah, I just, really well, 4 seems to be working, but there wasn't a time listed when we did this before, so I just want to be sure. Yeah, yeah, and that's. It matters to me because I have a Masco School Committee on many of those nights beginning seven so okay it works okay to do it at four. yeah no we were being presumptuous but we didn't want to be that presumptuous okay so, so we've done the time is four o'clock okay with the rest of yeah, the board yeah. okay. thank you and we should probably we, we try to limit them for one hour um although we expect <laughs> so the question is are we being naive by just doing one hour should we aim for one hour and then extend it when necessary that's really up to you it's your it's, why, why do we even have it we don't need time we don't have we to, but um, I we'll end it when it I just remember when we were meeting every single half. week. We'll end it make it an hour and a half. Sometimes it make it early, sometimes it make it a little yeah. late. But just put it's it in for that. And it, like yeah, I think that makes sense. So the, the working session is currently yeah. January 3rd, 10th, and 17th, three weeks in a row. Right. Um, do you want to add the one for the you one? Give it to me again, January 3rd. 3rd, 10th, and 17th are the three, the three yeah. Wednesdays in January. I get you. Yeah. And then if we add one to the 31st, um, it just was a working session, not one that we have departments scheduled to attend. No, but I think that there'll be plenty of for us to talk about. Uh, so we're going to need some extra Oh, yeah, and then there's the always the last-minute votes. And and it does give us a heads-up right at that point. If you shut off at noontime, even if you've not had a chance to do all the background work and everything, you could say, I just received this today, right, but at right. least we have a heads and up. And it's more, I like the work sessions because they tend to be a little more informal, you're not worried about the powder in your nose before a meeting. Um, and, but also it gives me the chance, like it's not as formal, you don't have to worry about doing a packet. So you, so I'm trying to balance all so of the So you're going to add one on the 31st? Well, at the 31st, and the question for you is, where else does it make sense to add them now? Because I'd rather add them if you feel that we need them and then cancel them than to have to um, schedule them mid midway because with everything going on. So that's a question for I'm, you all. If, if I'm, we need I'm, to have a standing meeting every other Wednesday or... I'm looking at the January calendar right here. Am I wrong? I think about 2018. If I do March 2018, um, I have Monday is the 26th. You have Monday is the 22nd. Monday is the 22nd in January. Oh, January or March? Oh, no, I'm, I'm looking at January. That's okay. I just went off the track, so I'm back on. Thank you. <laughs> there is one that has a 2017 oh, date. So actually, what I was looking at. Yeah, 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 this is really just. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm thinking of January. January. There's a too much January. to ask for an email January, January. Just, with the, just with the BOS meetings. Yeah, so plain email, like an old-fashioned email, not an Outlook. Yeah, yeah. Well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the last board loves those. You guys hate them. <laughs> I get so confused. Sorry uh, Kathy, that. what when are the budgets due to the phone call? I, sh I should see them here. Yeah, um, it's, it, it Which, is, where is it? It's on January 5th. It's a Friday. Town account provides um, board of oh. selectmen and FinCon with budget omnibus in, with town administrators. Ah, uh, 
So we can come so to that. that so that's I mean, that's when all the departments all. have to have their stuff yes. in. Yes. Yeah. No, they have Wait. to have it in by the 11th. And this the first tier. December 11th. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. And the second tier is December 21st. December 21st. Okay. December 21st. okay. Level one and level two. <laughs> so, so, so here's the issue. <laughs> The, the issue is that uh, the, the, the Board of Selectmen should be reviewing budgets before they go to the FinCom, right? I mean, we, we, we should be reviewing the budgets before they get submitted to the FinCom. Well, we did, at least for we hours. We did do that last year because we had the um, we had the departments come in and, and, and talk. This is just when they're putting in their request. They're not, there's a place on the budget form where... Um, oh, it doesn't show this. So, so if, um, on this spreadsheet, there's actually, so we get to the point of the proposed department budget. Yeah. And then there's actually two more columns. One is the, the Board of Selectmen's budget, and the next one is the FinCom's budget. So you're both kind of doing that at the same time. I, I, I have to, I can't speak for the last two years. Okay. But I have to tell you before that it was very helpful when the departments under the Selectmen came to the FinCom that the selectmen had already been the budgets. Yeah. Not yeah. necessarily. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, uh, otherwise uh, the, 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 the FinCom starts to work on a budget that we uh, are going to change. It's a relief to the FinCom. They can defer to us or not, but it's, it's in my days at least, it was it was appreciated. Yeah, yeah. That sequence. Actually, I thought, I thought that we did Chris Kelly, the other part is that, that, that you were one of the, I don't know if say instrumental, but the, the whole concept of possibly viewing the departments of the selectmen is one mega department mm -hmm. that doesn't work unless we do it right. that way. So right. I think I think what we're trying when we're connecting the dots, we just Catherine okay. did this today, no, no, and I'm glad that we're bringing this up because yeah. from my recollection, it was helpful that there was clarification and there was a realignment. If say somebody under the board of selectmen is going off the trail and saying, "Well, that's essential. We need that," and then the rest of us are saying. Well, Not or, really. or if the rest was saying, yes, you do need it, but we can, but, you need 10 more pencils, so we can take five of our pencils and five well, of our pencils. Right, and, and, and so then we'll the get it more holistically. can accept that approach or not. But. Correct. I mean, that's an easy enough fix, because well, we can meet They'll December. be submitting them on December 11th. I can just, I can just email them to you on, let's say, December 18th. They're just, so, December. then that way you'll have access to, you'll see what their budgets are at that yes, point. Yes, yes. So, okay. And so, then we can st start discussing, I mean, I would typically want to have them at least a couple of days and then start mm -hmm. discussing them. I have no problem with, with the, that. Now that I remember, you know what, it wasn't, okay, the reason this might seem it's a gap is because I think last year we did have work sessions in December, but it wasn't, at, we didn't outline it at the beginning of the process. And here we're trying to put everything up front. So that's why they're not, they weren't on our old list, but that was what we did last year. We had meetings and we, so these meetings in January, these were basically, we had two meetings or at least one night in December, maybe December 6th or 13th or 20th, that we just scheduled two hours and people came in and said, okay, this is what we're thinking, this is what we've got on the docket, what do you think, and it gave us a chance to ask questions. Yes. Yeah. 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 Under the Board of Select. Yeah. And then we compiled everything and we said, okay, you put you equals this, okay, if we have to come up with 25 grand for the trash budget, where are we going to find that? Is there room here? So that before we go to the FinCom, we're not, we've solved some of the issues that might have then, come up then before the we go to the FinCom. FinCom has the Board of Selectmen's viewpoint right. to take into right. account. They're independent. All right, so it's so maybe, what if we add so, more so, December? So 11, I'm sorry, 12 11 is when I will receive the budgets from all this, this, the departments that yep. are under the Board of Selectmen. Yep. So if we do a working session on December 13th, does that well, what, what, give you enough time? So, yeah, that's what we did together. last year. So if you get them, you send them right out to us. That'll give us two days. Um, no, no, you'd be getting them on the, the 13th. They'll, they'll then I would say have the meeting on the 14th. At least give us some time to have them. To, well, I can give you, I can, we can email you their actual budget. Yeah, that's all. But yeah. in terms of when I start compiling it, that, that you'll get on that day. You'll get all of them at once. But the, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but the first step 
is the department heads coming to present for lack of a better look? We shouldn't be messing around with the police department budget until the chief comes in and tells us why. Do we want to right. see the preliminary right. request before yeah. the before so we have that conversation? Seeing is fine, but in terms of the meeting process. No. So yeah, we, we just view it, but I don't know. So no the, the 11th, I get the budget, yeah. but the 12th, um, the, the, the board of selectmen gets the budgets by email. That's right. And that's just as they come into us. So we'll see them the same way we're seeing them when we open them up. And then what we'll do is and synthesize the, them into an umbrella. And Give us a couple of days beyond that. Thursday, and maybe then we can have a And then we can have a working session for the department. Next two. You won't we'll want do it on Thursday. Session. How many working sessions did you do last year? Thursday the 14th is with the, the, with the Board of Supplement Budgets. Oh, so yeah, that sounds good, too. I think there had to be a couple. I think there was a couple. There was, yeah, it was a couple. Do you want to do it on the on the 20th and the 21st? What month are we in? December? December. We're in December. December. Oh, we're just December. making Christmas <laughs> leave. <laughs> okay, tell me this. Yeah, right? Um, um, what if, or Monday. What if, so we could send them to that. Does one day give you enough time to take them? All I'm doing is, all I'm doing is emailing their budgets. Well, yeah, but that, that won't take time. It, what's going to take the time that we need to bring information to the board is you taking individual budgets from all the different departments and putting them into one central document. That, How that, much time no, do you need to do that? that. that okay. So then they don't want to do that. They want, they want to be able to think about it first. They don't want to do it on the oh, 13th. Okay. You don't want to have a working session on the 13th when you receive the budget on the 12th. 16th. Yeah. Or do you care? I mean the 18th. How about the 18th on Monday? That's what I was thinking. All right, so we want to do the 18th and the 20th for working sessions at 4 p.m.? Do you want to do the 4 p.m.? Is, I can't it, do it. This, is, this is an off week in terms of... Yes, it is. Yes, there's there's no board of select meeting. Yeah. And not that you wouldn't do this other than saying, but the, the departments don't need to have equal amounts of time. No. You know, the no. big ones, it should be proportionate. Like, right. right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, oh, and so that's another question, though, a decision point. Do you know, want to meet with all, the, all of the departments, or do you just want to meet with the ones that have something that's out of, outside of the guidelines or something that is essential and unfunded and they want the opportunity to meet to, with you. To me, it's a little of both. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm going to Yeah, I mean, if there's, well, you could do that. I right. think we definitely need to talk to the people that have significant that's budgets. Well, right. well, that's right. a, right. that's so that's so if there's a big, on, might, if there's a big budget, to to be even if it's on and guidelines, it. they should come in. That's Police, right. fire, yeah. building inspectional services, and... Obviously, we'll move here anyway for board of selectmen. Yeah. I mean, uh, people I may feel differently. To me, if this, if the town Police. accountant is, is, is within guidelines and yeah, the same as last year and within guidelines, I don't necessarily need so a presentation. So, if the board of health and the cons come are within guidelines, do we need to meet with them? No, do you want to meet with them? Does make sense not? to chat? I don't, I don't know if I can see something that's within the guidelines that raises questions or not, but I, I don't want to impose upon people either. So, I'm going to let you be. I don't I don't I mean again we're not quite zero based although we're close so it's, you know it's, kind of, again, it's my opinion yeah. clearly yeah. if there's an essential unfunded they're there okay. and then if there are substantial budget like the ones you talked about there even if it appears because sometimes it appears to be in guidelines and then a good example really is the inspectional services usually they're within guidelines do you want to meet with him or not is there any, for lack of a word, controversial or unusual? No. And they're not facing, you know, it's not like they're, they're holding not back now for a capital changes. thing next year. I mean, you know, sort of, if, if they're not really um, dealing with capital stuff and stuff that varies year to year, if it's very straightforward, I think that's probably right. And then when we, when we get the budgets, if, if someone says, oh, what's to go on with special services, this, uh, then you could bring them in. And we're going to have them for a week. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right, so what we have now is that yeah. that tier of budget is, is coming, being returned the on the 11th. The on the 12th, they'll be emailed to the Board of Selectmen as is. The 18th and the 20th at 4 p.m., there'll be working yeah. sessions yeah. with yeah. departments yeah. scheduled yeah. To, for any period of time based on what it looks like they need. Yep. Um, all right, so then the only other piece that that impacts is that we probably don't need um, three working three sessions in January. in January. Do you want to add one more working session? We, we have the one on the 31st, so we actually have four in January. Do you want to just add one more in January, or do you want to have two in January, not including the 31st? 
So right now we or have... Or you could leave them scheduled. Let's you leave them scheduled. Okay. You can leave it like it is. And we can always we can save always them. Say, I'm going to next week. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take out the part that says the apartment's short for 15 minutes as needed scheduled. Yes. Yep. And I'll take that out all three yep. of those yep. and just have it be VOS working session. Yeah, yep. call it um, department conferences or something like that. Uh, for yeah. these ones here, I'll call department conferences. Well, and those maybe, you know, we will be getting in January. So you sort of leave the budget lane and you go into the warrant lane in budget, January. Budget conferences. So maybe. Budget conferences. Obviously. So just leaving budget, them on there and just running work session. When you post it. If we do budget department yeah, conferences earlier, that's, that's fine. Right. I'm not so much worried about which happens when. I think it's good that we keep them all scheduled right now. It's going to be a busy time. You. If one of those gets taken off, I put something else in it I can't change, and then it's we hard. see we really have a rock we have to push here. Let's, yeah. I want to know we can meet. It's a lot so. easier to have it on the schedule and cancel than I'd it is to try to get everything no together. Yeah. So that would be helpful just so we're going to leave them on for every Wednesday in January, except for the 24th? Yes. The other thing that this does, which I appreciate Mark's point a lot on this, is it advances our review schedule a little bit yes. and makes it easier for the FinCom to have a little more time. <coughs> and by yeah. sequencing those and giving them more time, I think we're helping the overall process. Yeah. No, I agree. Okay. The guy was not part of it. So then in December, we have the 18th and the 20th for those for those budget conferences with the Board of Selectmen. And then on January, I think it was January 5th, is when the omnibus completed um, the of department versions is submitted to both the board of selectmen and the FinCom. And when you get that spreadsheet, that's where you'll see the spreadsheet that it has a summary spreadsheet on it. It has a pie like what was presented the other night from mm -hmm. Mark in terms of where pieces are fitting. Mm -hmm. It also has um, the essential unfunded items that will be filled out on that as well. That are included in the budget? It's Sorry. included on the spreadsheet that has the budget. Because there be some some that are that are requested and are are going to be approved, and others that are requested and will be approved. Yeah, um, Which are we going to see? All. Some that are going to be requested, but I, if if you tell me to make changes, but uh, between the 18th and the 20th, you'll uh, I'll I'll okay, okay. reveal that that, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. that that next window we'll on the form. Okay. And usually when we meet, when you consolidate everything, well. You might have just said this, but let me just be clear that we consolidate. They see the initial budgets as they come in. You take them and you put them into your the central database, if you will. And then we come up with a summary, so we have a roll-up. And then we also pull out collectively all of the Board of Selectmen um, essential and funded. Or is that like a separate... I remember last year us taking all of the extras and putting them into one list. Well, that's because it was a question about 2%, and, and um, I don't know that... I don't it know might that not make sense this year, only yeah, because it everything's at a zero, and then you have this you huge said, you list. Said okay, so we get everybody's budgets, and there are a bunch of different forms. They've got their budget worksheets, they've got a sheet that tells us if you're above zero and other, tell us why, explain it. That's one sheet, and there's going to be a if bunch on there. Guidelines. Above guidelines, yeah. Yeah. zero and other is the guideline okay. level funded. Okay. If you want to buy an extra pencil, and you can't find another place in your other budget to pay for that extra yeah. pencil, that's going to fall on this sheet, and you're going to have to but explain that's us why you need it. Different than unfunded essential. Yes. Yes. But if you go to, I'm okay, just walk and try me one more time. Why is that different than unfunded? Because it's outside of the guidelines, so we have a sheet where we have to describe why it's outside of the guidelines yeah, and just. But it, we're not contractually committed. Most of the unfunded. Right. We're going to have to change the, the the form that this all gets funneled onto. The, the what you saw That's last year, the the essential unfunded. Yeah. It's going to need to be changed a little bit based on the zero percent. So That's that, okay, but still, yeah. I don't essential think I'm wrong on this. It's still, I think I was one that the, invented it. <laughs> yes. The, 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 so essential unfunded is, we've never seen it before, but we need it, or it's not being funded, or it's out of guideline. supplemental and out of guideline. Does that make sense? Because the FinCon made it clear that anything that's that's above, uh, out, out of guideline needs well, to go, needs to be pulled off and put on this. I, I, I kind of agree with Mark. If you got a zero guideline, they're basically one and the same. Well, what we the FinCom is trying to do is the trash, the trash contract yeah. that's going to go on 
the outside guidelines worksheet. Absolutely. Now, so if I wanted to start a leaf composting program, yeah. which I think is essential. Oh, you're making, so to speak, a I Schedule B1 schedule. and B2 yes. instead of a Schedule B. You're set, you're well, distinct. we've had oh. those. Oh, okay. We've had two different forms before. So you have your base budget, you've got That's what sticks one. over guideline yeah. is the middle. Yeah. And then the last one is essential, essential unfunded. Oh, so within the base budget, there's a distinction for items over guidelines, but that are within the that they think should be within the base. Some people are going to interpret this differently. Than I know, but yeah. I know, but what yeah, we're right, trying to get what, that's right. what we're trying yeah. to get to is if you need more than zero percent, you need to outline why, right. and, and that's how you identify it. It's just it. to provide you with something that's consistent across the board and say this is what this is. Yeah. Well, like, I agree. With, like I think. It. Well, I mean, it might be a something, but I think the trash to me it, that that twenty five grand or fifty grand or whatever is. That's not essential unfunded. That goes in to me. That goes in the base budget with a comment or an asterisk or something. But that's kind of what you're saying. That's no, we're saying it goes in middle form. Th that well, was, yeah, that was the suggestion. The is just to do like a comment. There's a place for comments, yeah. asterisks, and stuff. But so I specifically asked the FinCon. Yeah, they, they wanted to they extract wanted, it. They wanted, they wanted, yeah. Yeah. So it appears they are and right. it's sort of called out. As yes, that's these right. are all the things that we didn't do form. last yes. year or by tradition yes. that we're going to take yes. a look at piece by piece, whether right. or not. They're inside the zero guideline. Or not. And, then, and then at some point, when the FinCom says, "Oh yeah, of course we need to keep the trash," you know, well, we don't have a choice. Then they make the decision to, to put it back into, into the, the base. base. Do they have a price escalator built into their contract? It's a two-tier. It was. It's it a two-tier. Two 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 so one price, and then after the sec first five years at one price, and then second oh, five okay. years. So that, that's the break. Yeah, okay. that was yeah. negotiated. All right. So we're basically dissecting what we've done before, and the difference yeah, okay. between this year and last year is that we're calling out everything that's not a level budget okay. and explaining that. Yeah, thank you. And then the third one is the <laughs> get on your hands and knees and back. <laughs> The third one has come back in 10 years. <laughs> Get it on the list. <laughs> yeah. And define essential. <laughs> like, what does that mean? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so I think. So uh, my next step, our next step. This is the schedule. Yeah, okay. Well, that's the draft that's schedule. Yeah. Yep. We, we needed years. some feedback from you, which we got. Yeah. Thank you. Can, can I uh, so one more on, on the schedule? Mm -hmm. uh, this is for, for the public. Mm -hmm. We've had this sometimes in the past. It usually is driven by how things are going, if there are big issues and no issues. But do, do we have a plan to, and this, the board very much here, to have a, a public budget forum? Sometime. It's not in this. And what's that? Not here. It's not in yeah. it. Okay. It, it, so, that is not in here, but that is for you. That's a policy yes. discussion. So I think, but I think it would be good to, to talk about we when we would it. have it, because it, there's mm -hmm. that mix between, you, you, we couldn't have it tonight because we don't have budget, so to speak, and to have it uh, just before town meeting, you can still have it because that means that's like a pre-town meeting. You give a chance people to one, understand more of what's on it. But uh, do, so one what, one what, what do we think? When, when's a good time? We have yeah. five working sessions, of which two or three may involve department conferences. It may be something could be fit in on one of those because we talked. We said we won't cancel them now. Oh, oh okay. If we need. But I'm just saying, we have some time set aside. Yeah. This is in the January time frame, you mean? No, I'm talking, um, yeah, January yeah. time frame. So another suggestion that I heard being bounced around. But, but, excuse me, but they would sense. be at a different time. They wouldn't be at, at 4 o'clock, typically, a public no, forum. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can make some adjustments. Yeah, just okay, fine. That, oh, great, okay. Yeah. No, and that was something that we had maybe briefly touched upon. Um, I'm, I'm thinking in terms of format, I'm thinking of when... The Collin Center came in and did their presentation. We had the joint FinCom and we had, well, it was joint meeting with FinCom and, and the Board of Selectmen. And I'm sort of thinking as a format, you could open it up and have a joint meeting and then ha allow for public feedback and comment. Um, you could do it on a night that you don't have simultaneous meetings or like maybe with the FinCom. So we just have to make sure that we coordinate with their schedule. Um, but I think that that's something that was sort of batted around is an opportunity for people just to give comment um, and to offer feedback about a process or any particular budget. Would January 8th or January 15th, which is not currently on our calendar. Oh. Or Monday, or Monday January 24th. <coughs> I mean, uh, no, Wednesday, January 24th. The office happening. 
It's going to be with the FinCon, though. Oh, the FinCon, yeah. yeah. I mean, are we in agreement that it should be a joint meeting? It could be Monday night, then. It could yes. be not. Monday the 22nd? I know that's, that's what I was going to Now, is that a suggest. holiday, too? No. no. It's the 15th, it's a holiday. 15th of the holidays, okay. Yeah. So it used to be Washington was born on the 15th, but yeah, otherwise now. Mm -hmm. was born on the, it was born on the 22nd, born on the 22nd. Well, it used to be Washington and Lincoln were born on the same day they pretended. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should so get the 12th off. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the, the Board of Selectmen and the Bank Club yeah, on the January 22nd. Budget forum. On the 22nd. It's a good time January. to sort of check in with both boards to see if there's any other outstanding questions and... I don't know, I think, well, I think we can do it'd be that. great. Right. And people have been talking about it, it's just we've never actually scheduled My suggestion was that it's a form. It's still right. the difference between a form and a public forum. Public public forum. Uh, we've had them many times, single issue or no. multi-issue. We don't have a public forum scheduled in here. No. Right. We can't talk right then. But it's not, a meet, it's not a time when the FinCom talks to the selectmen. No. no. It's a time no. when so it's not a the audience meeting, talks. We're all available. It's no, it is a joint meeting. We can have a joint well, meeting, but the, the, the 22nd is a normal selectmen's meeting. A a meeting. Selectman's a meeting. Public forum. And if we're going to do a forum, it's not going to be a standard. Oh, it's, it's that's selectman's a normal meeting. selectmen's meeting on the 24th? 22nd. 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 Yeah, no, there's there's no, was, no meeting. No. Wait, so we're going to do one of those, like, proctor, we're talking about one of those proctor kitchen things. So, yeah, January 22nd, yeah. a joint meeting between well, the wait, We're, we're trying to figure out if it's a selectman's meeting. Proctor Cafeteria. The 22nd is. It is. is. Oh, yeah. well then. The 24th is. Cut it. The 24th is Thank not you. here. The 24th is when you should I have the forum. The 24th. In the cafeteria at private school. That's fine. So moves the chair. <laughs> that takes care of that. So okay. okay. January 24th. Okay. Well, yes, sir. <laughs> January 24th. That's a Wednesday. And it's going to be a public. Budget public forum. 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 Yes. Public, public forum budget on, forum on or town budget. Is yep. it? Okay. And what time? Night. 7 p.m.? 7, 7.30. Okay. I think 7.30, yeah. 7.30? Yes. Okay. Okay. And then generally, okay, so it's not the the generally would be some type of basic introduction, couple of little introductory, maybe easy for me to say the FinCom just goes. Yeah. Sound kind of like what Karen did the other night, goes through the process and where we are in the process, general outlook, that type of thing, one or two people, and then uh, questions. And that, that will be at uh, Proctor, right? Yes, in the yeah, cafeteria. Here. And I don't mean this in a restrictive <laughs> way, but it might be helpful if we ask for questions the week before. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm not saying that people that's can't idea. talk yeah. if they, but you know, okay. this gives us an idea. We'd like to answer questions rather than just accept them. Yeah. Public forum, and then maybe we can just put a um, press release and talk with the and to the, talk to the newspaper about yep. posting a PSA or something. And yeah, we definitely want to get film crew in there. Yeah. Box of cable. That's good. So we'll run that by um, Karen Dow tomorrow, so she can check with the FinCon members and see if they can use the support that. So don't make any plans on Wednesday nights in January. We're going to have you hard at work. I'm telling you, I mean, unless you don't want me to come. Right? <laughs> okay, so we have lots of work to do. Is there any, well, there is other business. I don't want to take away from the picture. Let me just add, add one more comment as far as trying to get through the crunch times in that. And that is that we take advantage of the technologies that we have. And I, I thought of one of them where, for example, we had trouble with numbers apparently last year. We use technology, right? We can very quickly print out. These are all the numbers that we have because you call out that particular type. And somebody can go down through that in about one minute to see if there's any errors in the, num that the numbers that they line up or not. That's just one example. But we've got to take advantage of the technology we try to do things. For example, match merging, bringing things together. When somebody's bringing something in, we just we don't have to retype it or we don't have to copy paste. We have the merge happen within the documents as You'd have to upgrade my computer, support. I can tell you that right now, to support what you want to do. If, if, if you, <laughs> Catherine, oh, this stuff's been around for like 15 years, 20 no, years. I, so, I, so I, it's I hope not, I could do it. Here so, I could. Okay. Okay, well, I'll be glad to come in and help you and see if it does or not. Yeah, yeah. No. I would, yeah, well, I'll be glad to come in. Sure. I'd be worried to okay. try to do it on this computer. All right, okay. We didn't all work for, I, we didn't all work for IBM. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Mr. Chairman, would you uh, take a question from the audience? Uh, yes, yes. Just very quickly.
How does the public get involved in this process other than that one day to decide on a daily basis? How do we get involved? I personally think it's very difficult to get the public involved in this process. It's a busy process. It's a it's a it's a heavy duty process that's compressed into a finite period of time, and uh, I'm concerned about being able to meet some of that those deadlines if we got a public process that's lengthy and time consuming. Mr. Chair. Anybody else? Could we take suggestions, though? I mean, that was yeah, sure. suggestions. I was, I was, I, I was going to suggest, well thinking, but, and I'll speak for myself, um, uh, Elton, that um, if people have concerns about particular issues, particular things, um, I'd be more than happy to take emails, preferably, but calls, if so be, um, and to carry those in. No guarantee that we're all going to agree on it, but in terms of um, at least having that as part of the input process. I agree that there are so many moving parts that, um, and I know this sounds kind of highfalutin and philosophical, but um, the fact that we're elected officials means to some extent the trust put in us through becoming elected um, needs to be exercised by us in relation to um, trying to represent the town. Sure. Uh, we're not in a position where 6,000 people can make these decisions. Um, at the same time, I'd like to reflect any particular concerns that better brought before you personally. I'll bring them here. Well, what's fun is I'm reading your Board of Selectmen description online, and I like this word. The Board of Selectmen is an outgrowth. Did you know you were an outgrowth? Yeah. I mean, it's not derogatory. Right? I just, <laughs> I just <laughs> But it's an outgrowth for, <laughs> an for the major decision-making body, which is the town meeting. Yep. So, so you, re you are, we've elected you to represent us. Mm -hmm. But I just hate to, as I've told several of you, I just hate to go to the town meeting floor with either a citizen's petition and say, gee, you guys haven't been listening to us. So here's what we want to do. So it would be easier if we had a process, and you've just opened it for yourself. Right, and I... Thank you. I, 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 I'll speak for every one of us. I think that anybody can get a hold of us okay, with a particular absolutely. issue. So you don't mind that? I don't okay, mind that. I don't know. So Thank how, you. Do we, how do we do that? What's, yeah, that, what's the best personal way? Email? Text email? Jay Spencer at no. Uh, we have a, okay. we have an email address that uh, I have an email address. and I have a phone number in the phone book. You can call me yeah. if you want to. Okay. Right. Yeah, because yeah, we'd like to lobby you now, not on the night of the meeting. I prefer to be lobbied now yeah. than to have I mean, a I mean, meeting where yeah. dissension is there because people feel that they are left out. Right. Being part of and having everything that trying to be part of you might want to have happen no guarantee on that but I think okay. we need to at least reflect on it think about it and respond to you okay thank you thank you, uh, thank you Mr. Chairman thank you Mr. Chairman anybody else anybody else um, to yeah, yeah I'll I'll second I'd love to hear all in favor hi bye move I wanted to get in before you get that much. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can't debate that one. <laughs> Thank you for all the work putting that together. Thank you. What I was trying to see you for. Oh, yeah. Sorry to bother you. We're just trying to do that. Oh, Ralph. But you don't have a light? Oh, I do. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,